Pete was like, why would you do this to me? We look so stupid. Machine Gun Kelly is telling the hilarious story of a time he left his pal Pete Davidson totally unprepared for a high-profile party. When the Twin Flame singers stopped by The Tonight Show on Thursday, he told Jimmy Fallon that he once invited Pete to join in on his Easter plans, and the comedian came prepared for a laid-back time. You know, there was this one Easter where I was like, hey, Pete, you, you gotta come, you know, let's go to my friend's house for Easter. And he, like, pulled up and he had 40s and he was like, let's do this thing. But MGK conveniently left out some important details. Who was hosting the event and what the vibe was gonna be. We went and it was Sandra Bullock's house and, like, we walked in and it's like, Jen Aniston and, like, all of these, like, and, and, and Pete was like, why would you do this to me? We look so stupid. Like, we have 40 houses and we're at Sandra Bullock. Like, why didn't you tell me this is where we're going? While the emo girl artist hilariously left Pete in the dark that day, a Saturday Night Live alum later got even, planning an unexpected celebrity encounter for his friend. So then he, it's like my birthday last month, and he texts me, he's like, hey, I'm about to come to your party, can I bring a, a plus one? And I was like, yeah, of course. Of course, he didn't just bring any plus one. He pulls up and his plus one is, is Robert Pattinson, and I was like, you brought Batman to my <laughs> like, and then like, Surprise! Yeah. Kelly wasn't the only one who was left a little starstruck by Rob. Everyone just kept coming up like, dude, it's Batman at your birthday party. And like, it's funny when you become Batman because no one refers to you anymore as your actual name. You're just Batman. Yeah, then for the rest of your life, you're Batman. You're Batman. While the Twilight actor was Pete's guest that night, his recent frequent plus one has been girlfriend Kim Kardashian. The two attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner together last month, then hit the Met Gala as a duo a few days later. Back in April, Kim and her family told Access Hollywood about her relationship with the funny man. Everybody loves seeing you so happy. Your family, I love talking about how happy you are. How does Pete's family feel about you? Oh, I don't want to put words in their mouth. You know, you'd have to ask them. But we all really, you know, they're so lovely and so amazing. And, you know, I hope they like me. How are this man to love? So nice. Like, the cutest, the nicest. Oh, my God, so cute. <laughs> Chloe, how happy is Kim? Describe why Pete's so good for, for Kim. He just brings out a simplicity in her and just a calmness that I really love and appreciate. And he's super sweet and easy and just, he's so thoughtful. And I mean, he makes all of us laugh and who doesn't want to laugh all day long?